Well, this month, Nissan will roll out the 2011 all-electric vehicle, the LEAF, but some are questioning the LEAF's prof profitability and its potential financial burden on the company's other brands. Joining us now from the Los Angeles Auto Show is Bloomberg's Stephanie Stanton. Hey, Stephanie. Hi, Lisa. Yes, indeed. Uh, I can tell you that uh, many are calling this, I should say, some are calling this the year of the Nissan LEAF. And joining us now is the company's executive vice president, Carlos Tavares, to talk more about this vehicle. You guys are really um, rolling out the LEAF. It is, uh, the, it is all electric, which is interesting, which is a little different than some of the other cars that we're seeing here. Um, tell us why this is so exciting for the company. Well, it's indeed exciting because Nissan Leaf is 100% electric, zero emissions, no tailpipe and no gas, and we are going to deliver the first car to a real customer by early December. Yeah, now the MSRP set at around 33000 um, Your CEO has come out and said that he uh, doesn't necessarily expect the car to be profitable in the first generation, um, given the cost uh, for research and development, also the cost to produce, very expensive. Um, when will we expect to see the LEAF be profitable? Well, definitely the Nissan LEAF is a profitable project. Uh, it's a project that uh, is going to generate uh, volume and uh, because we will have this volume we will have productivity and overall over the life cycle of this program we have uh, a profitable uh, proposition. What is important to understand is that the Nissan LEAF is going to be mass market and it's going to be mass market with a very attractive price. For instance here in California you can buy one for around $20,000 thanks to the tax credits and the supports you get from, from the local state. So if you compute all of this and if you compute the fact that we are going to produce significant volumes thanks to the affordability overall with the productivity that we are going to generate, this program is profitable. Okay, can you give us uh, any sort of timeline? Will, do you expect profitability uh, 2012, 2013 or beyond that? You know, profitability of a project uh, uh, is evaluated through the life cycle. It's a, it's a global proposition uh, in which you include the volume projections, in which you include your entry ticket, uh, the support you get from uh, all the officials, the uh, states and the federal government. When you compute all of this, uh, it's going to be profitable. Okay, let's shift gears a little bit, uh, pun intended by the way. Let's talk a little bit about GM's IPO. Of course, that is generating a lot of buzz, a lot of fanfare. Um, should other automakers like Nissan be a little concerned? No, I don't uh, know why we should be concerned. Uh, we have come up on the first half of this fiscal year with a very robust profitability, uh, with a 7.8% uh, operating, uh, operating uh, profit margin. So Nissan is stepping out of this crisis stronger than before, very healthy, with, uh, with uh, no debt. Uh, so we are in good shape and we are looking at our competitors and uh, we will, of course, we will be eager to see how this uh, will come up with. Yeah, one major competitor, the Chevy Volt, although their price point is quite a bit higher, uh, roughly MSRP around 41000 um, Why not up your MSRP if you have a, a tight profit margin for the lease? Well, you know, uh, fundamentally, the reason, my understanding of the reason why our competitors are so expensive is very simple. They have two power sources in their car. They have uh, internal combustion engine and an electric uh, motor. Uh, by having two power sources uh, in one single car, you can easily imagine that the cost is going to be higher, and as a consequence, the pricing will be higher. Okay, Carlos, we are running out of time. Uh, just a few seconds. I just want to point out that you guys are uh, debuting a couple of other exciting vehicles. We have uh, the Murano convertible, uh, which has never been done before, and uh, you have the Quest. Absolutely. So thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Carlos Tavares, Executive Vice President with Nissan. And with that, uh, we are live here at the Los Angeles Auto Show.